Now we've got uh, the two equations that we found from earlier and we've got to find out what P and Q are so we need to solve these simultaneously and we can do this in many ways you could for instance times equation 1 through by 3 and get 3P here and subtract the two equations or you could times the top equation by 7 to make the Q's the same and subtract or you could use substitution and make either P or Q the subject of the uh, formula and sub it into equation 2. Well I'm going to uh, do substitution so what I will say is therefore from 1 OK, let's make, say, P the subject. From 1, P would equal 0.45 minus Q. I'm going to label that number 3. And then what we're going to do is substitute, let's say, sub 3 into equation 2. And that's going to, therefore, give me 3 times P. P is 0.45 minus Q then from here and then plus 7q and that equals the 1.95 so just need to expand the bracket here so 3 multiplied by the 0.45 gives me 1.35 and then we got minus 3q and then plus the 7q that equals 1.95 take 1.35 from both sides and do 7q minus 3q that's going to leave me with 4q equals then 0.6 and divide both sides by 4 and therefore you end up with q equals 0 0.6 divided by 4 which is 0 0.15 then all we've got to do is simply substitute the q value in substitute q equals 0.15 into any of the equations but 3 is the best one to go in so if we do that what we end up with is therefore P equals 0 0.45 minus the Q value of 0 0.15 do that and you end up with 0 0.3 or if you like 0 0.30 okay so that gives us our two values for P and Q well that brings us nicely to the end of this part then of the question